Telescopes are a type of optical device that can be used to view objects very far away. Now, telescopes can be grouped into two categories. We have astronomical telescopes, which are essentially used to view objects very far away, for example, distant stars, galaxies, and planets. And we also have terrestrial telescopes, which are telescopes that are used to view objects found on Earth. For example, when you're watching in an opera or a show, you can use a terrestrial telescope to observe the people on stage. Now, in this lecture, we're going to discuss a specific type of astronomical telescope known as a refracting telescope. So, a refracting telescope is a type of astronomical telescope that uses a system of two convex or converging lenses lenses that are placed inside a long tube. Now, the first lens is known as the objective lens and the second lens is known as the eyepiece lens. So, let's see exactly what we mean by looking at the following diagram. So, let's suppose we have a long tube. Lens number one, a convex lens, is the objective lens and that lens essentially receives the rays of light from distant objects objects, planets, stars, and galaxies. Now, because the distance between those planets and stars and this lens is very far away, we assume it's infinitely far away. Now, lens number two is known as the eyepiece lens. It's known as the eyepiece lens because this is where we put the eye when we hold our telescope. Now, Let's examine what begins to take place when the rays of light hit this convex lens. Now, because the object distance is assumed to be infinitely large, that means if we use the thin lens equation, we see that the image distance, the place where the image is formed, is equal to the focal length of that lens. Now, FO is the focal length of of the objective lens and FE is the focal length of the eyepiece lens. So that means the image that is formed by this lens will be located on the plane of the focal point of this objective lens. So the rays of light approach from infinitely far away and enter the tube at the objective lens. The objective lens forms a real image at the focal point of that objective lens at the at the plane where the focal point is located. Now notice the image is also inverted. So this is the image I1 that is formed on the plane of the focal point of the objective lens. So now let's examine what takes place. What exactly does the eyepiece lens do with this image I1? So the eyepiece lens treats this image one as the object and forms a second image of that first image and that second image is virtual, inverted, and magnified as shown in the following diagram. So if we essentially observe these rays of light, these rays of light will essentially refract and will eventually end up at the eye of the person. Now what the eye will see is these rays of light will essentially follow a straight path. And if we follow the straight path of these rays of light, they will all converge at the following point and this will form our virtual image, image number two. And the eye will see this image as if it was the object. So, the eyepiece lens treats image one that is formed by the objective lens as if it was the actual object and forms a second image that is virtual, inverted, and magnified. So it's virtual because it's found to the left of this lens. It's inverted because it points in the same direction as this image, in the opposite direction as the object. And it's magnified because it's much larger than image one. So let's label this as image two. So once again, image one is 
is formed by the objective lens, the eyepiece lens forms image two, and the eye actually sees this virtual image as if it was the object. So notice that it's much larger than image one, and it's much larger than the object that is seen by the naked eye. So, we can adjust the eyepiece by aligning the focal point of the eyepiece with the focal point of the objective lens. So if we take our telescope, we can essentially adjust this distance so that the focal point of the objective is equal to the focal point of our eyepiece. So these two points essentially align. Now, with this alignment, the eye will be fully relaxed and the virtual image, this virtual image, will appear infinitely far away, so that basically means it will be very large. Also, at this particular position, the distance between these two lenses will be equal to the sum of the focal length of the objective lens and the focal length of the eyepiece. That is, if we adjust this eyepiece so that these two points essentially intersect, that means this distance is equal to the distance of the focal length of the objective plus the focal length of our eyepiece. Now, what exactly is the magnifying power of a telescope? This is also known as the angular magnification and it's given by the following equation. So the angular magnification given by capital M of a telescope is equal to negative of the focal length of the objective lens divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. So notice the larger our objective focal length is compared to our uh, eyepiece focal length, the greater our magnification of our object is. Now, what exactly is the meaning of this negative sign? So notice, the virtual image is inverted, and that's exactly why we place a negative sign. So this negative indicates that the image formed by these two lenses is in fact an inverted image.